Ten years in Beijing, Xie Hongbiao is settling down in many ways. Working at an international software company, he earns a stable income and has saved enough for an apartment and a car, enjoying life with his loving family. We got married in 2012, and the baby was born the year after. Before her birth, we led an easy life and free lifestyle. But now what we think of is to spend more time with her and to meet her needs. She and his wife quit her job to better take care of their daughter. The three-year-old is now in kindergarten. I think a child's education is very important, and I want to do all I can to provide her with the best education. But as the sole breadwinner of the family, she also feels pressure. The house loan, expense on the car, fees for kindergarten, plus daily costs. Now, our expenditure each year is at least 150,000 won. That's about 23,000 U.S. dollars a year, leaving the family with few savings. As the child grows up and her needs get greater, the expenses will build up even more. Xie's parents are moving to Beijing to help take care of their baby girl and enable her mother to go back to work. But that in turn requires a bigger house, which they cannot afford, at least for now. A Swiss bank report says China's middle-class population has tripled over the past three decades to 109 million, overtaking the United States as the world's largest. While the trend is right, many say the figure is an overestimation. In cities like Beijing, some high-income people believe they need to work harder and save more before they can call themselves middle class. If I have my own house and can afford at least one overseas travel a year, I will call myself middle class. Everything is more expensive now. Ten years ago, I would have thought one million yuan was a lot. Now it's like nothing. You can't even buy a house with that. While people's wealth is growing in the world's second largest economy, what matters to them most and every family is not how much they earn, but whether their wealth can transfer to a sense of security. Mao Dan, CCTV, Beijing. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.